everybody and welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. Today we're going to be trying out this rototiller I bought here for the skid steer. Never used it before. We have it, sorry about that, on our New Holland L220. This is a, what was it, 72 inch, I believe, or was it a little bit bigger? Can't remember. At least 72, possibly a hair bigger. Um, never used it before. Uh, it's got a little dirt from just sitting on the uh, ground there but you can see everything's pretty clean the only thing i've ever done with this uh, i tightened up some of the bolts on the tines when i first got it were loose uh, there's a couple grease fittings i greased i made sure everything worked and then uh, basically parked it for the winter so i uh, just run you know hydraulically here uh, the switch in the cab it's a thumb switch so you can actually uh, have the tines going either direction forward or backwards uh, so that's kind of neat depending on the situation. There's going to be a little bit of a learning curve here for me today because I've never used one of these before. I've only ever used a three-point hitch version. So come along today here as we go to rototill our area here where we spread our compost. It's going to take quite a few passes going back and forth. And, uh, you know, we got some rocks here, smaller ones. Here's some, uh, you know, bigger ones, eight-inch eight inch by six inch type rocks we have here so uh, this piece of ground down here this flat doesn't really have huge rocks in it like uh, the one field does uh, up there that we've been plowing and stuff this just has more uh, more smaller rounder river rock type uh, stuff in it but still rocks so well let's go ahead I gotta I think I gotta get this adjusted so it's flat and uh, give it a go here so we'll get you some different shots see how it goes see if it works see if we break anything so stay tuned here we go all right so let's see if we can get this adjusted right we'll get you some different angles after but right now i'm just trying to kind of figure out what i'm supposed to do here <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly what's flat. I'm thinking that is probably flat. Um, the top of the tiller is pretty much even with the ground. So I think our shoes, uh, that has adjustable shoes on it, I think they're probably pretty level. Um, so if you wanted a perfect seed bed type situation, you could back up with this and it would you know till out your tire tracks i'm not really worried about that because uh this is not like a final pass it's just kind of working everything together so let's uh we can lock the button on and here we go definitely bouncing us around a little bit forward you can't really see how things are going got to get a feel for it but the nice thing about this being on the skid steer you can put some down pressure on it if it's dusty I'm in a cab so my poor sinuses aren't getting loaded down with dust and I think it's gonna do a better job than the three-point so seems like we got out of the, some of the stony areas so it seems to have settled down a little bit as far as the bouncing goes. Oh, hitting some stuff there. We're getting to the end now where uh, it wasn't plowed up. We'll try tilling some regular grassy area there. All right, let's lift her up and we'll uh, turn around and hop out and see what it looks like. 
All right, it actually did pretty good here. This little corner here, yeah, that tilled down pretty far. Uh, this little corner didn't get plowed just because of the way the plow goes. You can see the grassy area and then the grass disappears. So it actually dug in pretty good. Now, like I said, you can see my tire tracks here. So if you decided that you didn't want those, you could back up with the unit, but I'm not overly concerned about it. We'll probably hit this with the disc one last time uh, before we lay our plastic, but we'll see. It, it may end up working out okay, but uh, let's go ahead and keep tilling. That's all done. This is the section with the tire tracks. And this last pass here was the one where we backed up. Um, overall, I think the pass going forward is a little smoother on top. It might be hard to see on camera. But that may be my fault because I don't know how to, I haven't, you know, mastered. There's different angles, you know, that you can tip the rototiller here right now we have it tipped up and you can see uh well there's a guard here for the motor but this shoe is supposed to be flat on the ground so you know if you have it tipped one way or the other a little bit too much that's going to affect uh what your finished product looks like but um overall i'm very very happy we did have one or two rocks get stuck in there it stopped spinning all i had to do was pick it up reverse it it spit the rock out you can see uh it's the only problem with this mushroom compost. There's a little bit of baler twine, a rope, some plastic. But uh, overall, I don't uh, think we see any bent tines. Uh, like I said, nothing sounded loose. We'll probably grease it up again now that we've used it. Just a couple grease fittings. Um, let's see here. 
doesn't appear to be any dents in it anywhere my uh, three-point hitch version <laughs> has a lot of dents in it from the rocks uh, hitting the housing so and if anybody's wondering yes I still have tire chains on no uh, winter's over it's not for the ice but it has been muddy and believe it or not those big chains do help quite a bit uh, in the mud so that's why those are on but anyway back to the tiller so overall I am really really happy uh, with the performance of this again I mean you know we only used it for half an hour here so I don't have a full background I mean I could go to use it again and it breaks who knows but like I said it's very well built um, there's not a whole lot of moving parts to it and uh, again with my sinuses being in the cab the air conditioning there keeping the dust off me is uh, a lot better for me so and I think this does a better job because again when you hit rocky areas like this where there's these clumps of rocks the three-point hitch tiller will tend to want to bounce a little bit and it's a six footer I mean it's not a tiny little tiller by any means um, but uh, it'll bounce and then of course it won't till so nice so again I'm thrilled with this uh, stay tuned because we're gonna be using this again uh, in a future video up in that field up there where uh, we're got to pick some rocks yet do a little more disking that was the one where the 5250 uh, had some issues plowing but we're gonna we'll be using this again so uh, I'll let you know if anything happens to it and maybe I'll get a little bit better at it so anyway I've rambled on long enough my battery's almost dead thanks for watching this video guys questions comments leave them down below please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you would I really appreciate it I appreciate everybody watching please don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell icon on your way out the door hey and I sure hope to see you on the next video